In order to transfer our solution onto the TLC plate, we need a TLC spotter. And this is a micropipette with a very, very narrow diameter. The way we're going to make a TLC spotter, typically, is to start with a capillary tube. This looks a lot like a melting point tube, except that it's open at both ends. And it seems like it's very small, but in fact, the diameter is really large on this. And if I already use this to spot a TLC plate, I'd get a huge spot that wouldn't be useful at all. And so what we're going to do is we're going to heat this in a flame. And we're going to, uh, while, it's, while it's hot, we're going to take it out of the flame, and we're going to pull apart the two ends and that's going to stretch the glass and that's going to make a narrow diameter on the inside and uh, all we need to do is break that in the middle and we will have made two micro pipettes. So first let's start, let's light our Bunsen bur burner. Uh, I've turned this off, the gas is already on and I've turned off this valve, uh, closed the valve on the bottom. That gives me a lot more control over how much gas comes out, how quickly. And so I'm going to use that bottom control to open up the gas and I'm going to hold my flame to the side so that it doesn't uh, get blown out by the force of the gas. Sometimes you extinguish your flame if it's, if it's straight overhead. Okay, and it looks like it's adjusted nicely that there's a, a blue cone on the inside, nice hot spot, and I'm going to take my capillary tube, put it right in the middle, and when I feel that it's starting to soften up, I take it out and pull it, and now I've got a long, skinny section of the glass in here. All I need to do is break it right in the middle there. I could put it on the desktop and use my fingernail to break it. And now I have two uh, micro pipettes. Okay, now every time you break glass like this, it's, it's possible that you're going to get a jagged end at the, at the tip. And so if you notice that when you touch it to the TLC plate, liquid doesn't come out immediately, then you can maybe uh, break it a little more cleanly or take a look at it when you break it. Um, but this, this works quite well. A common mistake is to take your capillary tube and while it's in the flame, you, pull, you don't remove it from the flame, you leave it in the flame and you pull it and what happens there is that it's going to continue to heat as you make it thinner and then that's going to um, break the capillary into two pieces and it's also going to fuse the end. And uh, that's okay, this is still usable. We would just break that that sealed off part off at the end, and now I have uh, another micro pipette. One way to make a micro pipette is to start with a capillary tube, which is already very small, and when we stretch it, we can make two uh, micro pipettes from that. But another way to do it, uh, which takes a little more practice, a little more skill, is to actually start with a Pasteur pipette. And uh, this is going to give us a lot more glass to work with. And this is a way to make many micro pipettes all at once. It's also possible to purchase micro pipettes if you, uh, if you have a little money. But there's a lot of graduate students who spend a good part of their uh, day making a whole bunch of micro pipettes with pasture pipettes. And what I'm doing is I'm stretching a little bit, making it a little thinner. It's getting nice and hot nice and soft and then when you pull it out of the flame you can pull it really far and now I can break this up into small segments and this is a way to make many uh, micro pipettes all at once.